My name is Jesse Thistle. I am Métis Cree on my mother's side from Saskatchewan, and I'm Algonquin Scott on my father's side. I'm a historian. That's what I do for a profession. I'm a PhD candidate. I'm a Trudeau Vanier Scholar, Governor General award-winning scholar. For my work that I do, I look at Métis history and trauma, and I try to evaluate how trauma reverberates through time, through memory, to Métis people in present-day contexts, and I use that history to heal my community, to heal myself, and my own family. So there's a real reason behind looking at this history. It's not just to have the history, it's to use that history as a, as a healing tool. The work chose me, actually. I was uh, homeless off and on for many years. I had uh, serious addictions uh, to crack cocaine and other substances, and I was on the streets. And uh, I had an epiphany one day that I wanted to get my education, and I thought that maybe it could get me sober. And along the way, uh, I noticed that there were a lot of Indigenous people like me, and I wanted to investigate those questions. Eventually, I got to university, and I, I started looking into it and contextualizing my own life within Canadian colonization. And I could see very clearly that I was impacted by this deeper colonial history and that it, in a lot of ways, was contributing to what was once my addiction issues and uh, my homelessness. So in knowing that, I started digging deeper and reconstructing my family's history with elders in Saskatchewan. And it's really kind of brought my family together. We're all healing and uh, moving forward in a really good way. Uh, so that's how the work came to me. My identity is central to my work. Really, it's a history of emotion and how emotion reverberates through time and psychology. So in that respect, it's new. As a historian, we're taught to be objective. We're taught to distance ourselves from our subjects. So what did I do? I crumpled that up and I threw that out the window and I made myself the, the, the focus of my study because I only know the information that I know, right? I'm different, I'm an indigenous scholar and that is an indigenous way of knowing. Rooting yourself in your genealogy, rooting yourself, situating yourself in your family history and connecting to the landscape that way is a very indigenous type of learning and knowing. And I was doing this unconsciously. I saw that my family was impacted by this history without their knowing. They kind of had an understanding, but they didn't really contextualize and understand how damaging that history was. So I've come to know my family. It's brought my mom back into my life. It's brought my brothers closer to me. Uh, I'm searching for my dad who's, who went missing in 1982 and in knowing his history I understand why he turned to addiction and eventually disappeared. So it's given me great understanding and I know who I am and I've been entrusted by my elders that I work with out in Saskatchewan to bring people their history, to show people their history and then to show it to broader Canadian society and to make sure that we are remembered. The Métis are the Michif people, my people, the Road Allowance people, are, are known as the, the forgotten people in Canadian history. And it's my job as a young Indigenous historian to bring that history to our people and make it known. Because basically it's not written yet, and that's a real shame. And so that's my legacy. I, I would like uh, just a couple books, you know, a couple books and lecture and make people aware of it, you know. It's a really cool history.